Hi everybody, so I'm back from the One Africa concert, which was held in Brooklyn today. And highs and lows, wonderful, it was great. The artist that got to perform was really great. Everybody knows on here that I am very about Africa being one. I'm not about Africa being separated. I'm not about clout. I'm not about all of that. I'm not about thinking about us not working together as a collective. And coming out of the powerful summit that One Africa had on Friday, to go to what I experienced today was horrible because I know everybody knows that I'm Guinean and I'm Nigerian. So I'm, you know, the best of both worlds, right? So there was no Ghana artist on the bill. We got Bright Bright to be on the bill and he was going to perform. Prince Bright, legend from Ghana, from Bookbach. So that was going to be the only Ghanaian artist on the bill on a whole One Africa concert. Ultimate professional, Prince Bright is humble, sweet as pie, um, very patient. Um, his manager flew in from Atlanta. He was there on time. His DJ was there, T Mings. And to our amazement, because I was on my way there, I hear that they're not letting Prince Bright in and Prince Bright's name is not on the list. After he had got email confirmations that he was going to perform, he was asked, they were told that some dancers were going to dance to Small Tings, which is one of his songs. Um, and he literally stood on his feet for hours until they finally even just let him in. This man that came here to perform, Bright from Bookback, is one of the innovators of Afrobeats with movement, pop Afrobeats movement with his group back from Ghana from years ago. And to be treated like trash, it's a total disrespect to me. And I'm sorry. Um, I know people don't speak against things or whatever, but there's certain things you don't do. And I know he wasn't the only artist that was slighted. There were other artists that were supposed to perform pre-show otherwise that were slighted. Names were not at doors. They were not allowed to perform. So basically these people advertised the event for free, but they didn't get to perform. Like, so don't even say people are going to perform. Don't give people that hope or that inclination they're going to perform if you're going to slight them. And I don't want to make this a Ghana and Nigeria thing, but we have to understand that Ghana and Nigeria are one. Nonsense that was on the stage that didn't have to be on the stage and people like a legend from Ghana should have performed. Period. That's just my two cents. I know it's going to probably get a lot of backlash, but I did get to talk to Bright because we went to Accra restaurant after to debrief. And these are the things that he had to say about the whole process. Listen up. It's Glitterati. This is my One Africa recap. Right, right. How was your night? It was pleasant. No, it was not pleasant. I was surrounded by <laughs> amazing people. Right, right. What happened earlier on today? I have never stood on my foot for too long. Why did you stand on your feet for so long? Some people decided they were going to scratch off my name on the list. They scratched, they scratched the only Ghana artist off the list right. for One Africa. And made me feel like it was okay, but it wasn't okay. Because other people's names were scratched off. But it wasn't cool. Is it, is it fair that they're doing that to Ghana, who's one of the leading people in leading countries in Afrobeats too? Apparently, to help me stand for that long outside, I feel, I feel disrespected. Mm -hmm. I feel the entire nation is disrespected. This is where the whole theme or the idea behind it was one Africa. I felt like I was one Ghana being deleted from <laughs> one Africa, you know what I'm saying? So, Africa was incomplete, if you tell me. Um, the organizer, what's his name, Paul? Mm -hmm. Paul was nice, you know, he came out, tried to, you know, get us tickets to get inside. But, you know, the main point... Of you coming out of your house. Out 
Boss from ATL is here. Actually support his boy. His boy Africa is here. You put in work. We put in work, and it's really it, it just really hurt to me because I thought we're trying to work to one Africa, but it seemed like we're yeah, not working to. It was one Nigerian. Man. One Nigerian. I remember. It was one Nigerian. No, it was remember Nigerian. Yeah. He was like, yo, he was asking me something. I was like, oh, I'll get back to you when I find out. I was supposed to know. But funny enough, every email that he sends, yeah. had no response. And then they kept bouncing off the emails, to e like different emails all in one place. I don't know what happened, but I wish I just had my moment on the mic. Because you were ready. Bright had 15 outfits. <laughs> 15. Listen. Old school. You you packed 15 every, outfits. Every verse, right? Gotta, you I'll packed 15 verse. outfits. I was ready. I was ready because I felt like it was an experience that I've always wanted to have. Like, yes. You know, it was a big platform mm -hmm. for people to actually see what I am about. In America, where you live right now. Exactly. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So I felt like this was one of the biggest opportunities that ever came to me. It's not. You're going to get bigger. Of course. <laughs> yeah. Like, this was supposed to be like the stepping stone into greater things. You yeah. Know what I mean? But um, all is not lost. No. Know? We listen to some of the, you know, new stuff mm. I've been working on. Right, got some new stuff he working on, he working on. Some bangers, you know some bangers. So, I'm, I'm, pretty, I'm pretty excited about the future. I know things are going to look good. Yeah. But, but you don't respect the legend. Do they know who you are? They don't know. Eventually. Eventually, they will know. They don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Eventually. That's how you don't laugh. Eventually. Yeah. They don't they don't know. They don't, they don't, they don't, they don't know. know about it. Well, you know for some funny reason when yeah. we got in there, I felt like, oh, they're definitely gonna be like, okay, come on now, we got a we got a spot for you come in. And then I thought about okay, the DJ just left. Yeah. So how was I gonna perform if anything should happen? Yeah. Like, you know what, forget it. Let me just go drink water and just find yeah. somebody. <laughs> find in one corner. I was fucking about to say one corner. <laughs> I forgot. How did you feel that? What did you feel about what they did to Bright? Like I said, what's not definitely was not a good look, man. I don't know what's going on between these whole Ghana and Nigeria. I have love for both countries, but Nigeria is disrespecting Ghana, man. Now I understand why my my guy Shaka be talking the shit he be talking. Mm. You know what I mean, they have to stop that. Man. You have to have a stand. You have to take a stand, man. You cannot be disrespecting the people that actually put you guys on, man. That's a legend. That's a legend. Legend. Afrobeats in Ghana. Status. Prince Bright. I, 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 I would have loved to be acknowledged. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, at least the platform alone was, you know, I felt honored to be part of something great. Yeah. You know what I mean? Only. Plus, you had a flyer made with your picture. Exactly. Everything so, collateral. And, emails were sent. Right. And we got there like earlier than the show even started. Yes. You know, so if anybody should have got the shot to perform on there, I think we should have made the cut. And there were times people walked right in with entourages. Right. And they said they couldn't find your ticket. Twenty people with one person. And I remember at a point there was the lady, the same lady that told us, "Oh, there's nothing I could do. My family's yeah, outside right now." Yeah. When we got inside, she was like, "Oh, hi!" I'm like, "Look at that!" Wow. Don't say hi to me. Wow. Bye. We just have to do better. This is the way we go end this video. We have to do better. If we're gonna say one Africa, we have to honor one Africa. Point blank. Period. We cannot. Why can you have one Africa without Ghana, though? How can you have one Africa with that Ghana? Did that make any sense? Come on, man. Stop the nonsense. That was in the comment. We are all one people. Trust and believe that. So for one Africa to just to do what they did to Bright, which hurt my soul, because you know, we know that we know that we have to represent all countries of Africa on the stage. And there's a lot more of one country, we know. And it needs to work. It needs to be worked with. It needs to be changed. And that's my, that's my spiel on it. 